Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so this reading is about advice. What we're gonna do is um, pull cards of advice for love and romance and then career and finance. So let's get into it. What is the advice for career, excuse me, for love and romance for Sag? All right, so uh, consistency. So the universe wants you to engage in relationships that are healthy, that are moving towards something long-term. Um, they just want you to make the decision, make the choice to be in it, be consistent and make sure that it's healthy, it's rational, and it makes sense, okay? There will be a learning curve or there is a learning curve, but still, um, make sure that this is something that um, provides you with longevity, all right? What is the advice? Yeah, okay, so in your relationship, there could be a lot of new starts, okay? If you're in a relationship or there's a lot of, um, you know, words, communication of new starts and what will happen and what should be happening. There could be a lot of pettiness and arguments also. There's a need for somebody to be more emotionally mature and they are not. There's somebody here who um, is more so self-centered about themselves, could be young or younger than you. Um, they want consistency, but it's like their energy doesn't lend to being consistent with them. It doesn't, it doesn't, their energy doesn't help you want to give that to them, you know, or vice versa. This is how they feel about you. So um, it's like there needs to be some major shift change or so, there's some element about your relationship that is ending here or it needs to end or transition here so that you can either start something new or uh, part ways. Let's see. Um, yeah, uh, so you need to listen, you know, listen, be still um, to your intuition. You may be getting some downloads, okay? maybe getting some intuitive nudges uh, don't just push it away um, know that that is true uh, the universe is working with you your dreams could be very vivid at this time also there could be something holding you back this relationship could be cyclical it could be in and out hot and cold you guys go you know up and down there's a choice or a decision that needs to be made here in this connection yeah. all of a sudden there might be upheaval or there's an upheaval of emotions or maybe an event happens where you blow up a fight an argument I don't know but in that destruction here uh, in the rubble when it all clears and smoke clears you see that maybe something was built on falsehood anyway because you get a lot of immature energy here yeah maybe somebody might blow up or lose their composure or they have blown up or lost their composure because um again there's a lot of immature energy here somebody was holding back it, it looks like there might be a release here of how someone feels there also is a level of, of distrust or mistrust here um somebody needs to forgive but they aren't sure if they can Let's see what is uh, the energy for career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance. What are the messages for career and finance? What are the messages? Success. Very nice. Um, it is imminent. It will be had. Understand that. Very nice. Abundance. Yeah, an abundance. Um, you will have an overflow. Joy, love, peace, money. You know, that's all abundance is, is an, an overflow. Um, so uh, be assertive. OK, so be confident in whatever it is you are engaging in. OK, uh, confidently uh, embark on this. Don't cower down. Confidence comes because, you know, when we know then we can be we can confidently or assertively uh, apply ourselves or our knowledge because we know. So gain knowledge of something so that you can move forward confidently. All right, last card. Within the next few months, some things are going to turn over for you here. Um, if something takes a shift, a turn, keep in mind that the, that the universe always has something better for you, you know, or a better way. So don't look at it as if um, it's a negative, but understand a setback may be a setup. 
this is what I have for you, Sag. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy L a Coffee link. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Sagittarius. Many blessings to you.